Good morning. Sitting here on the edge of the riverbank and I'm listening to the sweet sounds of the birds and in the distance I can hear the rumble of a train. It's a gorgeous morning. I came down here because it doesn't matter when I come to the river, there's always something to teach me. The river is a mighty master of, of lessons that I need to learn and apply in my life. The first lesson is that the river doesn't stay in one place. It's never the same. It's always flowing to the direction of its destination. That's how I should be. That's how you should be. Always moving out in the flow. It's a constant movement. It's taking consistent daily action to get to your goals. Don't stop moving forward. That's the first lesson. The second lesson is um, it's about knowing the river. I'm not a river rat. I didn't grow up on this river. I've just had the blessing of living by it for several years. But I don't know the river, and for me to get out there in a boat would be probably pretty disastrous. I don't know how to navigate the channel. I don't know what to watch for, and I trust others to do that for me. Because I tell you what, if you were to fall out of your boat, the current would pull you under, and you would drown. It's that powerful. It looks really peaceful now, doesn't it? But there's a strong undercurrent, and it will take you. And you know, that's the same way in life. And especially, especially for those who are venturing out to, to work from home, to figure out this online marketing business stuff. If you don't know what you're doing, you need to go with experienced people who know the ropes, who know how it works, who know what to do. Because just like if you fell in the river and you'd be pulled down by the undercurrent, if you don't, if you don't hook up with those who have paved the way before and who have the skills and knowledge and the know-how and can show you the way, you're going to be pulled down by the undercurrent. And what are those undercurrents? Huh? You'll recognize them. It's fear and doubt and envy and jealousy and regret. All of those negative feelings that come up when something's not working right. And it will pull you down and cause you to give up. Travel this river, travel this life, travel this business venture that you're on. Travel it with people who know what they're doing and who can show you the way and keep you safe and keep you from the undercurrent. You know, sometimes this river gets out of its banks. Mighty floods come. In fact, we just had that about three weeks ago, came up over this campground and stopped everything for a while, at least for the campground business. <clears throat> and that reminds me of, of how it is when you're just starting out trying to learn this business, trying to learn what you need to do and, and how to do it. And you just get flooded with all kinds of resources and tools and and it's, it's overwhelming. It's a flood of overwhelm. It happens. When that happens, 
you need to just stop and wait it out and get clear again. And as the waters recede, you'll get back in the flow again. And in the same way, there's drought. There's times when this river is so low that there's sandbars all across there, across, um, across the water there. It was that way last summer. It was so low that it seemed like you could just walk across. When you hit the drought in your life, when you hit the drought of trying to do what you want to do, to reach your dreams, to live your freedom, there's going to be drought. There's going to be times when it's you feel completely dried up and completely stale and stuck where you are. That's when you need to feed your mind, your soul, your heart. Keep going like the river. Keep doing what you're doing because it's your daily persistent action that will prevent the drought. All right, that's it. Lessons from the river on this beautiful summer morning. It's peaceful and quiet. It's a day that's breaking forth full of endless possibilities. You can be, do, and have whatever you dream of being and doing and having. I'm Trisha. I'm one half of the Naked Hippies Road Trip Couple, and we are on the road trip to freedom.